Hello everybody, I'm Josh Rubenstein, the Public Information Director for the Los Angeles Police Department. This critical incident community briefing is intended to provide you with information about an officer-involved shooting that occurred in the Rampart Division in the City of Los Angeles on August 20th, 2018. You're about to see relevant video footage, hear audio recordings and radio transmissions, and learn of other evidence and police procedures so you have a better understanding of what occurred based on what we know right now. The LAPD conducts very thorough use of force investigations that typically require investigators to interview multiple witnesses, view numerous hours of video footage, and analyze a significant amount of forensic evidence. We're at the very early stages of this investigation, which can often take up to a year to complete, and our understanding of the incident may change as this additional evidence is collected, analyzed, and reviewed. We also do not draw any conclusions about whether the officers acted consistent with our policies and the law until all the facts are known and the investigation is complete. A word of caution. The images and information you're about to see may be disturbing. When a police officer uses force to arrest a suspect or defend against an attack, it can be graphic and difficult to watch. In addition, there may be strong language used by those shown in the video. Viewer discretion is advised, especially for young children and sensitive viewers. Hello, I'm Captain Patricia Sandoval of Media Relations Division of the Los Angeles Police Department. I'm going to give you a brief overview of an incident that began on August 20th, 2018 at around 11.23 p.m. Metropolitan Division officers attempted to detain a male on a bicycle in the 2200 block of Ocean View Avenue. The male fled from the officers on his bicycle and then pointed a replica handgun at the officers, resulting in an officer-involved shooting. The suspect was later identified as Dennis Smith. Officers assigned to Metropolitan Division work throughout the city and focus on communities that experience high levels of violent crime. These officers will patrol the area to address those problems and reduce crime. You are about to see body-worn video of both involved officers. These are cameras that are assigned to nearly every patrol officer working in the field. They are worn at chest level and provide a perspective from that angle. The Metro officers drove east on Ocean View Avenue when they attempted to detain Smith to speak with him. You'll notice there is no audio during this portion of the video. That's because when an officer turns on his body-worn camera, it automatically records two minutes of action before the button is pressed without any audio. The contact with Smith occurred during that two-minute pre-roll. You will see body-worn video from the driver officer. The police vehicle was stopped while his partner spoke with Smith. When he rode away, the driver officer chased after him in the patrol vehicle and after a short distance, fired one round in the direction of Smith. Smith was not struck by the officer's gunfire. The officer then got out of the vehicle and joined his partner in the foot pursuit of the suspect. You can see the passenger officer picking up Smith's replica handgun from the sidewalk as both officers continue the chase. At one point, the officer's body-worn camera falls from its holder onto the ground, which he then picks up. You will not see additional video footage from the officer's camera because he was unable to reattach the camera.
Smith was on the passenger side of the officer's vehicle and suddenly rode his bicycle onto Ocean View Avenue. The passenger officer got out of the vehicle and chased after Smith. This is a zoomed-in version of the passenger officer's body-worn video showing Smith riding away from the officers and then turning his upper body in the direction of the officers and extending his right arm towards the officers. Get down to the ground! Get down to the ground now! Down to the ground. Get him down right now. Hey, you got him? Yeah, I got him. Okay. Smith continued to resist the officer's attempt at taking him into custody, which resulted in a use of force. After Smith was handcuffed, he was placed into a seated position. Go down to the ground. Get down to the fucking ground. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Put your hand behind your back. Put your hand behind your back. Stop! Resist it! Can you do it? Can you do it? Stop! Resist it! Give me your other hand! Give me your other hand! Give me your other hand! Hold on. If you get us your other hand, We'll get you up. Can't breathe. Can't breathe. Okay, okay. You got him. I got him. Okay. I can't breathe. All right, get up. Get up. Stand, Stand up so you can breathe. Stand up so you can breathe. I can't breathe. Oh my God, I can't breathe. I'm gonna get you an ambulance. Stop moving. I can't breathe. I hurt. Stand up, sir. You're not going to be able to breathe that way. Stand up. Stop moving. The last video is a closed circuit recording from the location where Smith was taken into custody. Get down to the ground now! Get down to the ground! No! Get down to the ground! Get down to the ground. Get down to the ground right now. Hannah, you got him? Yeah, I got him. Okay. Get down to the ground. Get down to the fucking ground. Oh.
Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Put your hand behind your back. Put your hand behind your back. Stop resisting. Can you do it? Can I hook that? Stop resisting! Give me your other hand! Give me your other hand! Give me your other hand! Hold on! If you get us your other hand, we'll get you up! In a second! Okay, okay. You got him? I got him. Okay. Alright, get up! Get up! Stand up so you can breathe! Stand up so you can breathe! I'm gonna get you an ambulance. Stop moving! I hurt! Stand up, sir. You're not gonna be able to breathe that way. Stand up. Stop moving. The replica handgun picked up by the officer was a CO2 powered BB pistol. On August 23, 2018, the District Attorney's Office filed one count of felony 69 PC resisting in addition to a probation violation. Dennis Smith is a 35-year-old resident of Los Angeles. He was previously convicted of burglary and resisting arrest. Mr. Smith has no gang affiliation. In the next several months, the LAPD will continue to investigate and analyze this incident as witnesses come forward and forensic tests are completed. After the investigation is completed, the Civilian Board of Police Commissioners will evaluate the evidence to determine whether the officer's tactics and use of force met the high standards expected of all LAPD officers. If you'd like more information on how the LAPD and the LA District Attorney's Office investigates all officer-involved shootings and other serious uses of force, visit lapdonline.org, where you can also find out about LAPD's use of force policies and procedures. Thank you for taking the time to view this critical incident community briefing.